Okay. Welcome back. So we have uh, another Geo from quote unquote Florida <laughs> for, for some definition of Florida. <laughs> uh, so there's a regular hexagon ABCDEF. And there's like a point P inside it and some areas that are going. I'm assuming, I think I, sub I wrote a problem once where the setup looked kind of like this, except the point P was in a different plane from, <laughs> well, from the hexagon, and the hexagon was not regular. Um, so that problem was rough, but this, this looks a lot gentler. So you're given like areas, and because like the hexagon has like this constant side name, um, I'm just gonna like call the side name to the hexagon X or something. And then, you know, what this says is that this length here should be 12 over x. Uh, this length here should be whatever the heck it is, 20 over x. And this length should be 22 over x. And, oh, nothing showing up. Uh, okay, but yeah. <laughs> right, I should probably actually put this, okay, great, cool. Um, Good catch. <laughs> That's how you know I'm only looking at the iPad. Uh... Okay, cool. So, da -da -da. okay, yeah. So the the sum of the altitudes. Yeah, oh, I mean... Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do that suggestion. Um... My, my really great straight lines. So, yeah, there, there's two claims. One is that the, the, the sum of the red segments should be equal to the sum of the other, I'm gonna run out of colors, huh? Um, oh, damn it. I'm gonna just highlights. So two claims. One is that the sum of red is equal to the sum of yellow, and that's by doing um, looking at the area of the purple triangles. Oh, is it called Vivani? Can you find x? Yes, because the other thing that's true is that the um, the sum of the all uh, the sum of everything. So. Um, Like this, let me do this, this this thing here. This thing should be given exactly by square root three times X. So if I add all six lengths together, um, on the one hand, it should be equal to 12 over X plus 20 over X plus 22 over X. But on the other hand, it should be equal to like three copies of square root three times X. Oh, I guess actually, yeah, Vivani is literally just the, um... I see, it equals the altitude. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, anyways, we can just solve for x now, right? Uh, 54, 108, x is like... 12 root 3. Why? Really? One, 108 over at 36, 12. Hmm. Did, did I, did I? 
I feel like I'm not expecting a fourth route. That feels pretty bad. <laughs> you know, we're just gonna roll with it. I, I don't think it's wrong though. Um, okay, so, like... This guy here should now equal, um... Is there seriously a fourth route? It's like root 3x minus 12 over x. And then like PDE is supposed to be equal to 1 half base height. So, you know, that thing times half x. So it's like root 3 over 2 x squared. Oh, it is going to actually resolve. Uh, minus 6. Okay, very cool. Uh, I, d I did not expect the constants to work out. Oh, that is, that is good. 3 over 2x squared minus... Okay, so then it's like 6, 10, 11. And root 3 over 2 times x squared happens to be equal to exactly what? Um, 18. Okay, so 12, 8, 7, and these guys, these guys have product, whatever it is, 672. Okay, that should just be it, right? Solve Elmo P6? No. Um... Okay, um, that's nice. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's quickly write this up. Um. Oh, can someone yell at me if, like, this is not the correct number at the end? I'm assuming 672 is the right number that you guys are supposed to get. Um... Uh, we solved an error on TST and then we solved this. So both the problems today have been really quick. Hexagon, so the heights from P to A, B, C, D, e, F, R, 12 over X. It's from P to... Okay, so 12 over x plus h1. Why is shift width always set to 4? I swear to god. I, have, I never know how to set the shift width correctly on this editor. H1 is equal to 12 over X Hence it follows that 
uh, 3 times root 3x equals uh, 2. So x squared equals 12 root 3. Let's finish up. High 2, high 3, alright. Giving answer 12 times 8 times 7 is equal to 6, 7, 2. 